In Tarkov, there's usually a reason for going out into the dangerous world. A reason to risk life, limb, and gear on the vain hope that you'll extract with something more. Sometimes it's simply for the thrill of battle. Other times it's for some nice loot. But most of the time, it's for a mission. A task provided by the mysterious merchants of this forsaken place, profiteers of misfortune. In this case, we hunt for morphines for therapists. These syringes of medicine have eluded me for far too long, and it was time to get down and dirty and search for them exclusively. I could search shoreline or reserve, but I decided the best course of action was to throw myself at customs and the crack house found therein. Well, this is certainly not my favorite spawn. I had spawned on the far side of the map for my target, so I decided to make the most of it and search the dorms and gas station for Rishala. You see, his guards often spawned in with high tier loot, but more importantly, they often had morphines in their pockets. This was my goal. Let's peek over and see if anyone spawned by the water here. I've been tapped from this bridge more than once. That seems pretty clear. They're probably running for the dorms if they spawn there. <laughs> Let's pop in here for a minute, loot this safe. Uh, just listen up, see if we hear anything. Oh, ho, ho, big money. Man, these safes were duds this run. Eh, at least I got a new Shanga for my boy Ragman. Some scabs out back. Eh, not too bad. Ah, I still need that one. I died with it last time when I got it on uh, Interchange. Those scavs are pretty pissed. Oh shit, it's Rashala. Damn it! I had gotten complacent, and the Zavitskoy brothers had gotten the best of me. I would be better prepared next time. It's a little darker than I was thinking. Oops. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, I'm not falling for that again.
This is Scab Guards. Rochelle is here. Alright. That's uh, one Zavod Skoy down. I'd gotten lucky and found Rochelle two raids in a row. I wouldn't waste this good fortune. They don't seem to be rushing this time. Sounds like they're pincering me. That's just a reg scav. Come on, boys. I'm ready this time. Alright, that's two guards down. Two to go, and then Rochella. I was whittling them down, but these shots and grenades were bringing in unwanted attention. I had to be fast. There's a third guard down. The shots are from the bridge, I think. That scab just murder a dude? Oh, There's definitely a player on the hill here taking out scabs with his press weapon. It kind of sounds like he has a friend with an AK as well. Okay, there's a body there in the grass with a scav backpack. I don't think it's the player though. That's my boy. Well, I'm not sure what they're doing out there, but they delivered me the boss on a silver platter. Man, if you kill a scab boss, you deserve a lab's key card. I don't know what they were thinking nerfing that drop that hard, honestly. The players seem to have left or died in the scuffle, so I moved up on my guard kills, eager to claim my goal. A morphine, yes! And there it was. I had been having terrible luck with these syringes. But if I got out with this, I would finally be able to move on with therapist tasks. This was not a moment to falter. I still needed to mark the tiger vehicles, but with the morphine in my pack and hearing jumping right on the other side of the wall, I knew that it was time to leave then and there. So I cut my losses and dove out the front. Oh shit. My life flashed before my eyes. All of this work and a buckshot scab had landed a pellet to my face. There was no way I was giving up this morphine that easily. I steadied myself and moved in for the kill. Whew. 
That was terrifying. No! And just like that, we had lost the morphine yet again. Killed by a player hanging out in the worst place possible with a suppressed ump. This stung, but it only made me more determined to finish out this quest. The morphine would be mine. Pretty good spawn for crack house. This is a chance for a morphine. Knowing that I was ahead of the pack, but well aware that my position was a popular one, I dashed forward into the construction yard and quickly got to work looting up the supplies found within. Sounds like a war's kicking off already at Old Gas. Come on, morphine. Damn. There was no luck this run. It was time to move on. I made my way through the dangerous alleyways, listening to the sounds of war nearby. Damn it! I had overcommitted in my haste to exit the area, and was far too exposed during a fight with a player coming out of the bunkhouse. This loss wasn't as devastating as the one with the morphine, but it certainly put a damper on my mood. I needed survival first, and speed was secondary. I had to be more careful. Another crack house spawn. Nice. And a cowboy hat, too. Ragman's gonna be happy. I had gotten a lucky spawn for meds again, and intended to make use of it. But I was in the belly of the beast, and I had to be quick. Oh my god, there it is. I had found it. I had only one goal now, get out alive. I'd have to be quick, but careful on this. I hope to god the vehicle's here. Uh, of course it's not. The getaway car wasn't there. That was a shame. I had a long way to go to Expo with this syringe. God. Of course there's someone here. God yeah. I had been killed with the morphine again, pincered between a team of two from the dorms. This morphine seemed cursed, an item that no one could retrieve and make it out with alive.
No shot. Three times in a row? A familiar feeling crept over me as I began to wonder if this deja vu was a blessing or a curse. There was only one move for me, though. I needed to search that crack house. Bingo, let's get the hell out of Dodge. In a move I was now doing for a third time, I took a deep breath and rushed out the side door and down the stairs, making a beeline for the getaway car I could only hope was still there. Gunshots nearby. This could be a valuable distraction, or I could be running directly into the arms of flanking players. But waiting wasn't an option. I made it to the tree line and went wide around the dorms, but found myself disappointed yet again. Ah, oh, shit. I think those are scav guards. Yeah, yeah, Rashal is here. And so are some players. I think the scavs are aggroed onto them, not me. Let's just rush across. We'll be safe once I get to those trees. Damn it! I had been tagged by a shotgun as I ran across, and judging by the lack of response from that flashbang, it was a player. The only question was, were they willing to camp me out with an army of scabs at their back, or would they focus on the task at hand? The moment of truth had arrived. Wanting no part of a fight right now, I stood and made a break for the tree line, eager to extract with my hard-earned drugs. I wrapped my way around the edge of the map, carefully avoiding contact with scavs and PMCs alike. I had one mission this run. Survival. Oh, thank God, it's over. And so it was. I had finally escaped with the morphine, a task that had held me up for literally weeks. Now, I can progress with the therapist's quest line in peace. I hope that you've enjoyed your time with me today. I've taken some time and put a lot of thought into the content I want to create. I've always wanted to tell stories, and they're a hell of a lot more interesting than just outright gameplay. This new series picks up right where the last one did, and they won't be every day, but I'm a lot happier with the quality, and I hope you are too. Thank you so much for watching, and if you made it this far, let me know in the comments below. I hope that you enjoy my progression, deaths and all, and until next time, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.